All right, you guys, serious question. Why is it that nowadays it's so hard to find people who have faith? I'm not just talking about faith in God in general. I'm talking about faith, period. It seems that a lot of people that I talk to nowadays are so pessimistic and skeptical about everything. It's almost like if you talk to someone, if you talk to someone about something new, uh, they've never come across it before. Like let's say in the health space, let's say someone's dealing with whatever illness, and they've gone to doctors, but they've never considered try taking a naturopathic way to things. And you bring up something. No, nope, probably won't work. Probably won't work. Um, let's say you're talking about um, a new way to make money or a new business opportunity, whatever it may be. Nope, never works. I know someone who tried and you know they failed. You know, and I just, I just wonder. I'm just like, like, religious stuff aside. Most people I come across nowadays are they're just so skeptical and so pessimistic about everything. And so one, this question is posing it to you. I, I seriously am wondering, why is it so hard to find people who are full of faith? If you want to say optimism instead, you can say optimism. But like seriously, I am curious on why. Because he, he, here's how here's how I take it. There are plenty of things that I don't know about, okay? Plenty of things that I still have to learn. But what does it benefit me to be closed-minded? That's how I think about things. Now, am I skeptical in the sense that I question things and cross-reference things? Of course. But I'm not skeptical in the sense that I'm closed-minded and shut off the conversation there. I guess that's maybe what I mean when I talk about people who don't have faith. They're so closed-minded or they're so skeptical to the point that they're closed-minded. What is that? What causes that? And, you know, another way that I look at that is like, where can that get me? That gets me nothing new in life. That gets me only things that I've ever known before. Or the opposite, not the opposite, but just another path is it only gets me the things that are known by the rest of people. So it makes me never go out and explore. It makes me never go out and uh, test new things or try new things or learn new things. It's like, I don't know. It just seems so close minded and it seems so, um, it doesn't seem enjoyable to me. And so this is actually a genuine question. If you are one of those people, let's say you are one of those people who are extremely skeptical slash don't have faith, you know, to the point to where like you're closed minded when you shut, um, ideas down, please in the comments below, tell me why is that now you may be the person to where you're like, Hey Paul, I actually am very, very skeptical but I am open-minded. Okay, you're not the person that I'm talking to because I actually really appreciate you because you tend to be the person that questions the most and makes me think the most. I like you a lot. So you're not the person that I'm talking to. I'm talking about the person who's skeptical in combination with closed-minded. It To me, that's depressive. Like, like I, I would get depressed if I thought that way because then it's like nothing new, nothing crazy could you know, would be able to like enter my world. So that's who I am talking to. And if you say that you probably fit that category, please, this is directly to you. Let me know in the comments below why. Let me know why. What does that serve you? Or do you not even think about it like in terms of serving you and whatnot? Like what's what's the process of thinking? So anyways, this video is probably not for a lot of people. It's probably, it's just for those select few. Uh, and if you are that person, let me know. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.